Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we're going to be highlighting musicians in and around Ventura County, as well as those musicians who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. I said, no pay, no pay. No pay, no gain. That's just the game. No pay, no gain. That's just the game of life. Money's tight, the print is due. And let my song just comfort you. All day. Night. I said everything is gonna be alright. I said no pain, no pain. My name is Dylan Garcia. I am originally from Oxnard, California. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I can generally write all styles, all genres of music. I've been blessed with that uh, gift, and I love sharing my talent in any way I can when it comes to music, whether it's reggae, rap, hip hop, rock, folk, pop music. Uh, I just enjoy it all. I see you dreaming in your sleep And I set you free, I made your life complete And I never quit to Get what I need I'm on a mission to get what I see And then you hold me suddenly When you need a friend that no more suffering It's coming to um, Online you could find me my, on my website at DylanGarciaMusic.com You'll be able to have access to everything there uh, My Spotify, my YouTube videos, everything's on my website uh, Future shows uh, merchandise, you can find that all on my website. My um, Instagram is at Dylan Garcia Music and Facebook.com slash Dylan Garcia Music is where you can find me. As a gentleman, here's something only you can understand. Then you hold me suddenly when you need a friend, there's no more suffering. It's coming to an end, I'll change your. I've had the opportunity to work with um, some of my favorite producers and it's funny how I grew up listening to their music as a kid and I didn't realize this until later but it's given me the opportunity and not only from my growing up the different music that I listened to from punk rock and reggae and pop music and everything my style of music comes as I get I guess a mesh of everything but in one way I'm giving it my own signature style you can see the way that I not only that I write music but when I go into the studio and work on music I always try to bring something a little different um, you know I like being having that authenticity as an artist and that makes me who I am and my style of music I bought my first guitar when I was 19 years old, but I've written poetry since I was about 12. And what forced me, not forced me, but what led me to get a guitar was I was jealous of all my friends that were in, um, in bands and they could play guitar. And that was the one thing I wanted to learn. And, and so when I bought my guitar the day before, this is when I was going to UC Irvine, the day before my girlfriend had dumped me. So I, want, I went to Guitar Center because I wanted to write the saddest broken heart songs ever. 
And I started, that started when I was about 19 years old. <laughs> oh baby, come and hold me, come and hold me. Oh baby, come and hold me, just one more time. When we say our goodbyes. Just one more time uh, My musical influences uh, from the Ventura County area would have to be my friend's awesome band that they had called The Return. Before The Return, they were called The Shecklenbergs. They were together while I was in high school. They were a full on, like 12 piece member ska band. But then it just ended up being Justin Dempsey, um, Andrew Gavigan, and Derek Jennings. And I kind of looked up to them. I actually got them a management deal back when I was going to UC Irvine and they moved to Long Beach and they were doing their thing out there. And they were probably my most greatest musical influence because they played the type of music that I wanted to play and, and yeah, shout out to The Return. <laughs> The most fortunate accent that I've ever had in music was the day I met Ronnie King. Uh, I was on my way to meet him. The record label that I was signed to had scheduled a, an audition with him to see if I, he was going to produce the album for me. And so I heard about him, you know, and 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 Drew, my buddy Drew Gerges, who discovered me in um, in OC, had told me about him. So I'm googling him and I'm trying to find out some things about who this guy I'm going to meet. And when I walk into the recording studio, the, I'm walking through the hallway, and the first thing I see on the wall is a multi-platinum plaque for a song by Ronnie King and by a song by John B. produced by Ronnie King. And the song that it was for was the song that I was listening to on the way to go meet him. So I'm listening to one of my favorite songs. It's John B. and Tupac. Are you still down? I'm listening to this to like calm my nerves. I was super anxious. And I'm listening to the song. I get to the studio and I walk in and the first thing I see is a, a multi-platinum plaque for that song. I was just like, wait a minute. What is going on? Like, was this supposed to happen? How was it that the song I'm just listening to and this is the guy I'm supposed to meet? Like, you're kidding me. So he comes out of the office, he was in a meeting, and I could just tell he was a record producer. I could just tell it was him. He just had that, that, that vibe of a record producer, you know, that cool ambiance that they carry around. And I'm like a little kid, like, oh my God, like, are you Ronnie King, man? Like, are you Ronnie King? And he's like, whoa, man, calm down, dude. Like, what's going on? I'm like, you don't understand. I was just listening to this record. No way, man. No one listens to music from the 90s anymore. And I had the song on a on a on a dub cassette tape. This is when I drove in a Suzu Rodeo for work, and I didn't have a CD player. I just had this cassette tape, and it was dubbed. So he comes to my car, my SUV, to come to see if I'm, what I'm saying is true. And 
Back then I had a breathalyzer in my car for the DUIs that I had gotten. So he comes up to the car and this is my first introduction and he comes up, I start blowing in the breathalyzer just to turn the key to get it, to play the song and the song comes on and he's just like, he has an aha moment. Like, wait a minute, is this really going on? I'm my dog Tahoe with me and she's just jumping around on the passenger seat. And he's like, dude, where are you from? And I'm like, I'm from Oxnard. And he's like, I've been there. I've been in the hood over there. And that's kind of how that that relationship started and to this day it's it's always been more than just like a, a producer artist kind of relationship it's been a real friendship you know he has this really awesome ranch in coachella valley he's invited uh me to the ranch several times my wife and i stayed out there several times and it's just like whoa it's, it was like going from like this level like you're you're in a group you're 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 at this level and it's just kind of like taking like the elevator instead of taking the stairs to get to that next level of success in my career and it, it, it's just that's probably one of the coolest accidents that has ever happened to me. I just I would like to give a shout out to everyone musicians fans everyone else we're all in this together you know I think our local scene would be a lot better if it wasn't so clicky that would be a huge if everyone could just kind of come together and another thing is don't give up on your dreams keep working I've you got to keep failing and to get better I've run into shut doors i've failed several times and i've made mistakes i didn't do everything the right way but i think all of that stuff teaches you on your journey to make you who you are today so don't be afraid to to fail don't be afraid to make a mistake because you're going to keep learning and never give up keep going after it and and don't when i say keep going after it keep getting better as a musician keep getting better as a writer and keep getting better as a person whatever you do and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a great day, great evening. I'm Dylan Garcia at Dylan Garcia Music. I love you guys. Shout out to the 805. Oh, I looked her in the eyes and I said, I want everything. She somehow seems to get away from me